Hey friends, if you love photography and like to sell your photos and videos online, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon and turn on all the notifications so that you never miss any video guides from the Teaching Doc channel. And here I come. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Arindam and you are watching the Teaching Doc. And today I'll be telling you 20 reasons why your photos, graphics or illustrations are not selling in stock photography agencies. Reason number one is a small portfolio. Yes, friends, if you have not enough images or graphics or videos in your portfolio, it's not expected to get some regular sales. So make sure you have got at least 500 or 1000 images in your portfolio, then you can expect some regular sales. So if your photos, if your portfolio is small enough, that's why your images might not be selling. Reason number two, are you comparing with someone else? Are you comparing your income with someone else? If you are doing so, then I'm 100% sure you'll always complain that your photos are not selling. Trust me guys, I used to do that. When I compare my work with someone else who have got a huge number of images in their portfolio who are getting 100 downloads per day, then that's the main reason why I was telling and complaining every day that my phone photos are not selling. So please, my most important tip to you is don't compare with someone. If you are comparing with somebody, then you will always say that my photos are not selling at all. Reason number three, are you trying to copy someone else's work? If yes, then this is the main reason why your photos are not selling. Trust me, guys, I have done this. Many of the young beginners who actually see someone else's portfolio, portfolio of some a huge successful photographer or a graphic designer, and they simply copy their work. If you exactly copy someone else's work, that file will never sell because it's already existing, right? So make sure you give your personal touch to your files and photos and graphics. That's why your images might not be selling. So do not copy someone else's work. You can get inspired, that is fine. You can give some changes. You can make some changes in angle and give your personal touch, but don't exactly copy and paste. Number four, are you creating unique content? What I mean to say is if you are a photographer, you need to click photos of something which is very unique or new. If you are clicking photos of a rose or something else which everybody is clicking, then you are competing with millions and millions of photos that are already existing, right? So unless you are taking something unique, your photos will never sell. Believe me, you may get one or two lucky sales, but to become best seller a photo which will sell over time and time, you need to click some unique photos and videos. Number five, are you uploading every day? Yes, friends, this is one of the most important trick or rule which most of us don't follow unless you are uploading every day your photos will never sell if you are uploading every day then only your photos are featured in fresh content and someone might land up in your portfolio and you may get additional sales so please at least upload three, three times a week or it's best if you upload every day if you are not uploading every day that is the reason your photos are not selling next are you giving proper titles and captions yes friends this is very important titles and captions are something which will help your photos become discoverable in public search engine like Google and any other search engine. So make sure you give proper titles to your photos. Without proper title, your photos will not be discoverable and they will never sell. The next basic reason is the keywords. Yes, friends, keywords are the one that make your photo searchable in website engines. Yes, friends, what I mean to say in relation to my previous point is if someone searches a topic in Google, all right, it is the title that makes your photo discoverable. But if someone is already in the Shutterstock agency and he or she is searching the same topic, then it's your keywords which make your photo discoverable. So both titles for public search engine and your keywords for the agency search engine are very important. And these are the two most important things that you need to pay your attention. That's why your photos might not be selling. The next thing that you need to focus, which most pro stock photographers tell that you need to have photos that have featured human models. You need to click photos of persons. Yes, friend, it's difficult to do. You need proper models. You need proper model releases. But it's actually a proven fact that if your photos have got human faces and they're replicating natural lifestyle, those kind of photos sells in a huge amount. 
there are exception to it and it in, that is my portfolio in my top 10 best selling images you will find only one image that has featured human model that was me so it's possible to get some good sales without human models but if you find your style in clicking human models and lifestyle photos then definitely you have got some best selling to come the next reason is are you leaving enough copy space or empty space in your photos or graphics yes friends this is very important there are photos in which you can get good sales without any good copy space again example is my portfolio if you see my 10 best selling images of 2018 and 2019 there are hardly any images that has got some good copy space but it's very important in general if you do not leave a space for the agencies to put their text then your photos may not sell properly so make sure you are leaving a copy space during your framing and composition and then you'll have some good sales so if you have not got a good copy space that's why maybe your images are not selling the next is proper retouching are you actually retouching your photos in order to remove the artifacts the spots and the flakes that the sensor dust in the sky very 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 important even if you're not paying attention to these your photos might be might have been approved but during the downloads or during the sales the clients actually open sub your photos in 100% resolution and they check for all any imperfections so if there is anything that is in your photo even if the photo is approved that will drastically reduce your sales to mass so master photoshop make sure you can clone out all the dirty things that are in your photo that will distract and then you'll have a huge chance of increasing your photo selling if it is not what you are doing maybe that's why your photos are not selling the next point is regarding proper editing definitely friends you can shoot from directly from the shutterstock app many of my friends do nowadays they just click the camera icon in shutterstock and they upload straight from camera yes nowadays photos are appearing good but in order to make them great you need to edit properly you need to correct the horizon you need to add a good contrast level saturation everything you need to make the thumbnail pop uh, once unless the thumbnail is very gorgeous looking the clients will not click on your thumbnails and you have got a huge chance of lowering your sales so make sure you are editing your photos properly but do not overdo them if you are increasing the clarity too much you will have rejection due to artifacts and noise posterization etc those errors so make sure you are editing your photo to make them gorgeous but you are not over editing your photo so maybe if you are not editing your photos properly maybe that's why your photos are not selling reason number 12 i believe are you having enough photos with isolated background very 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 important if you are clicking photos of human if you are clicking photos of any object anything make sure you have got enough photos in your portfolio with a single colored background it may be white or black or any colored background if it's not possible for you to shoot such items in studio scenario make sure you master pen tool and all the other isolating tools in photoshop so that you can cut out your subject and place them in a solid background solid background images sell a lot and it's very easy for clients also to cut out your subject from your solid background and place them in their custom background so make sure you have enough images in your portfolio that features a single color a solid background otherwise maybe that's the reason that's why your photos are not selling properly the next reason is about different angle yes friends it's best practice to click a photo from one angle and also have two or three different angle from the same subject maybe one reviewer or not reviewer one client may not be looking the top view but he or she might look the lower angle view so make sure you click a same photo from different angle and provide unique title and keyword for each and every one of them you need to put top angle you need to put side view you need to put lower angle in your titles and keywords to make them three different photos and definitely will have some increased chance of selling of a single photo and that will also increase the number of images in your portfolio the next is direct opposite of what i said in the previous point please do not upload same type of images from one same angle into your portfolio all right this is something which i see in beginners i also did it a lot please create uniqueness please create quality not quantity all right what i mean to say is please don't upload the same image from a same angle in and have 15 same title and same description and same keywords this is a very bad practice because each of them will compete with each other to become the best seller 
so even if you have got similar photos you don't upload at the same time you can upload at some different times all right so make sure you are not uploading the same type of photo but you are uploading same photo from different angles i hope both these points are clear reason number 15 why your photos are not selling is because the fact are you aware of the current trends very important friends if you need to get some serious sales if you wish to have some serious sales you need to be absolutely updated with the content the current trend why i'm telling you for example there was a recent event a bushfire in 2019 late 2019 a bushfire wildfire in australia so all those portfolio photos which had got themed photos of wildfire and uh, natural greenery etc or of blazing flames they had got huge number of sales so this is something that you need to be aware of you need to um, read news and you need to be on your toes anything comes up right at this moment this will be high selling photos and definitely you need to upload them as quickly as possible it is not easy for you to do but if you are aware of the current trends for example last year trends was futuristic technology uh, minimalism those were last year trends so be sure you are updated with the shutterstock newsletters be sure you are updated with the forum of get images there all those agencies are in constant discussion what's the current trend that's going on if you are uploading current trend photos definitely you will have some very good sales the next reason is directly opposite to what i just said you also need to have some photos which are relevant throughout the season not only trending what i mean to say is a photo of a young woman doing yoga in a beach or a young uh, guy checking his mobile phone these are lifestyle images that are valid throughout the year their demands never ceases all right so make sure you have got some images that are relevant throughout the year you need to do your research and upload some all seasonal images and they will sell like hot cake so both these points should be taken care of you need to have some all seasonal images as well as you need some trending images in your portfolio if you are not following these two things maybe that's why the reason is your photos are not selling well reason number 17 please diversify your portfolio i practice this a lot as a beginner and i still do till you become a professional and you identify your niche or speciality it's best to try your hands into everything i upload nature photos i upload still life photos i upload uh, travel photos i upload even my photos and i have regular sales in almost all of them so make sure your photos have got variety so that you can have sales from different categories of customers later when you become professional then you can identify your niche and then you can focus on that special category of the photos the next point will be direct continuation of this point it is to replicate your best work definitely friends when you start out after six months or seven months you will definitely see some photos are selling like hot cakes and shutterstock app is actually so good it will tell you these image has sold five times add more like this that's the exact thing you need to do you need to replicate your own best images it's not good to copy someone else but something which you have created and the market is loving it make sure you are posting same type of images from different angles you are creating images with the same concept then you will have some more good sales so remember if you are not replicating your best work and you are just uploading something else totally maybe that's why the reason is even after few initial sales you are not getting enough sales to continue the next reason why your photos are not selling is is your portfolio organized enough very important you need to organize your portfolio in beautiful sets with the recent change in shutterstock app it's very important to organize your sets you need to set thumbnail to your sets by selecting pre actually gorgeous images this is very important maybe a customer can click on your image and land up in your portfolio by searching similar images from the artist and then if you have got good sets you may get some surprisingly huge number of sales on a single day from a particular set all right it's more relevant for contributors who have got 2000 photos but they are not well organized if you arrange your sets properly i am guaranteeing you will see a huge boost in your sales and for the beginners start making sets from day one the reason number 20 that i feel is you need to explore into something new example i'm a photographer and i'm trying to learn graphic designs and i'm trying to upload videos if you're a graphic designer you may try your luck in photography and some video work 
why i say is most of the friends that are complaining that your files are not selling are the ones who are not happy with their income so why not try your luck i will upload videos and graphic design soon in my channel and i will share my reports with you but in the meantime since you are a creator you are an artist i believe if you are a good photographer you will do good in graphic design too and if you are a good photographer you will do in video too so make sure you are uploading everything and see what's the best thing that you are getting re good result into and so it's my suggestion is explore everything if you are a photographer try some video and then see how you get the results so maybe if your portfolio has got only photos that's why you're not getting good sales i have got some friends who have got photos and videos in their portfolio and their daily income and their monthly income is a huge compared to me who has got only photos in their portfolio so it's better if you have got got good photos and videos in your portfolio then you will have some very good sales well that was 20 reasons rather my 20 opinions why your photos and videos might not be selling but one thing is low sale is actually normal all right you need to accept the fact that low sales can happen even today at this day i have got days when i have zero downloads in a month back to back three four days and even seven days zero downloads have happened to me all right so be sure to keep your expectations low then you will never complain that you are getting low sales in stock photography well you know it's a tradition of this channel to have a code of the day now in this video since i have given you enough power to boost your sales in stock photography now time for code of the day which is power bank if you're watching this video till now please type power bank in the comment section to prove that you are watching this video and you have not skipped after one minute so guys i hope you have liked this video please hit the thumbs up if you agree with me if you are not practicing all of these points make sure you at least follow 10 or 15 of this point i will be honest with you even i don't get time to follow all these 20 points but still i am trying to make the best out of it but i always want you guys to do well so please share this video with your friends and cousins who love photography please keep supporting my channel make sure you comment in my video so that i can reply to your queries that's it for today thanks for watching this is dr orindaman you are watching the teaching doc and and i will see you in the next one bye